Template Infobo Kalagandaki A hydroelectric power station is situated near Murmi of Siangja district about 300 km to the west of Kathmandu and 100 km from Pokhara in the same direction in Nepal. The hydropower project is also the biggest hydropower project of Nepal. The dam and headworks are situated on the Gandaki River at the confluence of the Andikola, whereas the powerhouse is located downstream, around a bend in the river, in Beltari, about 7 km towards the southeast of Murmi. A 5.9 km miles long headrace tunnel connects the reservoir to the power station, which contains three 48 MW Francis turbine generators. Owner and operator of the power plant is Nepal Electricity Authority. It is a run of river type of project and currently is the largest power plant of any kind in Nepal with an installed capacity of 144 MW. Construction started in the year 1997 and was completed in the year 2002. The three turbine and generators Toshiba make were commissioned in March, April and May 2002. It was constructed primarily to curb the ever-increasing energy demand at that time and eliminate loadshedding prevalent due to the imbalance in demand and supply of energy. It was constructed with the financial aid of the Asian Development Bank with total costs reaching $354.8 million 50 billion Nepalese rupees approximately. <laughs> Hydrology and sediments The Kali Gandaki River originates in the high Himalayas carrying high sediment load. The river generates a suspended sediment load of 43 mount per year, of which around 25% consists of sand. This sand has a high concentration of highly abrasive angular quartz. About 95% of this suspended sediment load is delivered during the monsoon, between late May and late September and is large enough to completely fill the reservoir in a single monsoon season. Data on discharge, suspended sand concentration in the river, and on the flow diverted into the turbines as shown in Figure 3. The suspended sand concentration in the river and delivered to the turbines suddenly spikes in early June. This corresponds to the date that the reservoir level is lowered, thereby mobilizing sand. The sand concentration drops again when the reservoir level is brought back up to its impounding level, reducing both the flow velocity through the reservoir and the rate of sand transport. This sluicing procedure has nearly stabilized reservoir capacity, producing a sediment balance across the reservoir. Topic: <laughs> Transmission line. The power generated by the three turbines is evacuated to the central grid via a 132 kV single circuit, a 66 km 41 miles long transmission line to Pokhara, and a 44 km 27 miles double circuit transmission line to Bootwal. The electricity is sent to Leknath Municipality and Bootwal known as Bootwal 1 and Bootwal 2. A substation has been constructed in Leknath Municipality, Kaski District and the existing Jogikuti substation in Bootwal has been upgraded. See also List of power stations in Nepal <laughs>